Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Ross, the tie-dyed traveling guy, coming to you from Clear Lake, Iowa. The day the music died. My wife, Heather, and I stopped here on our road trip from Wisconsin to Kansas City. And I'm like, hey, let's go stop. at the place where the music died because back in I believe 1987 when La Bamba came out I was a huge fan of Richie Valens in La Bamba so we're gonna walk out here to the actual crash site it is literally in the middle of a field they took off from Clear Lake Iowa Airport 1959 during a snowstorm, they had chartered an airplane because the heater on the bus had broken down. And they were cold. So they wanted to get to their next stop, which I believe they were on their way to Fargo, North Dakota. And there was only room for, I believe, the pilot and three passengers. Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper. They flipped a coin to see who was going on the bus and who was going on the airplane. And Richie Valens happened to be on the plane. Waylon Jennings was supposed to be on the plane, but he lost his seat and jokingly at the time said i hope your plane crashes and wailing waylon jennings struggled with that for decades and still i'm not even sure if he's still alive or not but we're on this path here. Not sure exactly. Hopefully it's not too far out here. Because I know we need to get to Kansas City. We're going to see Falling in Reverse and Avenged Sevenfold. I believe Kim Dracula is opening. But from Wisconsin to Kansas City, Missouri, Clear Lake, Iowa is pretty much on the way. I just went to Google Maps and I searched Buddy Holly crash site. And it popped up. And I think I have seen other videos where showed the location. It's right off of 35, a couple miles, I believe, west of Interstate 35 in northern Iowa. It's actually a little bit north of Clear Lake because they had taken off from the Clear Lake Airport heading north towards Fargo in that snowstorm and as we all know they did not make it and when I watched La Bamba I was seven years old in 1987 I cried I'll admit it Richie Valens was awesome as was the Big Bopper and Buddy Holly of course but I was a fan Richie Valens in the movie La Bamba. 
hopefully it's right down here at the end because we've been walking for a while I don't even know if Heather is is she still coming there she is she's still coming Oh, are they lining up now? Yeah, this is the spot. The day the music died. I believe. It's just right up here. Literally. The middle of a field. Looks like a bean field right now. But it is definitely a walk out here on uneven ground. So if you have any disability issues, walking out here may be slightly difficult. Wheelchair, electric wheelchair, that might be doable. It's a little bumpy, but not too bad. But it looks like it's about a five minute walk. We're coming up on six minutes and 30 seconds here. So if you are still watching, thank you, appreciate it. Subscribe to the Tie-Dye Traveling Guy to see more videos. I'm gonna be uploading more tomorrow night for Falling in Reverse, Avenged Sevenfold. And we have a lot of vacation videos on there as well. So there's definitely a wide variety. And I figured I would document this moment since this is the first time I've been out here. Uh, I see some stuff down at the end there. So hang tight, y'all. We're almost there. Right next to a cornfield, bean field. That way is to the south towards Clear Lake. And as we come upon the crash site. Looks like there are some lights set up for nighttime, solar lights. Ah, oh, this is... February 3rd, 1959. Peggy Sue Donna Chantilly Lace. That's the spot. February 3rd, 1959. Coming from Clear Lake, Iowa. It all ended right here at this spot. So hey, play some tunes today. From Richie Valens, the Big Bopper, and Buddy Holly. Celebrate their lives, celebrate their music. Focus on the positive. Don't focus on how it ended, focus on how they lived. Thank y'all for watching. This is Tie Dye Traveling from the middle of a cornfield, bean field. The day the music died. Have a good day, y'all. Thanks for watching.